Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. Root Beer here, looking at the 2007 Thermat paper, and we're on question number three here. Of the fractions, three quarters, seven eighths, thirteen sixteenths, and one half, what is the difference between the largest and the smallest? Okay. Well, I think to answer this question, we're going to have to order these fractions. So let's take a look here. We have three fourths, seven eighths, thirteen sixteenths, and one half. How are we going to order these? Well, how can we order fractions in general? Just like with adding and subtracting, the easiest way to order fractions is to get a common denominator. Now, as I take a look at these denominators, 2, 4, 8, 16, they're all powers of 2. Okay, the biggest one of them is 16. We can get a common denominator of 16, so let's do that. Once the, once the denominator, once the bottom number is the same, taking a look at the top numbers will allow us to order them. Okay, so 3 out of 4, multiply top and bottom by 4. We get 12 out of 16. Uh, 7 eighths becomes 14 sixteenths. We have 13 sixteenths, and then we have 8 sixteenths. So we can order these. 8 sixteenths is the smallest because it's got the smallest numerator. Then we have 12 sixteenths, 13 sixteenths, and finally 14 sixteenths. Oh, I guess I, I guess I had a less than sign. Okay. Once they're ordered, we take the top one and the bottom one, and we take the difference. Now we don't need to do anything because they're already uh, they they already have a common denominator, so we can just very quickly fourteen minus uh, fourteen over sixteen minus eight over sixteen is fourteen minus eight all over sixteen. That's six over sixteen. Uh, let's simplify it. There's a power, uh, a factor of 2 in both the top and bottom. So we get 3 out of 8, and that should be our final answer. 3 eighths, is that anywhere to be found? Absolutely, it's A. So we bubble in A, and we move right along. In the next video, we're going to take a look at question number 4. I will see you guys there.